Hi there. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. Welcome to a Nancy Thrift Haul. I, I did get a few things uh, while I was with Nancy. Wow, her stores are amazing, as I've already been saying. Very, very amazing. Now, I, I was choosy because my room is really, really chock full. So I really am these days trying to not just, you know, hoard all the goodies. <laughs> So, um, so the things that I found I really loved or I really wanted or I knew I would go through. So, um, let's get started. Most of them are from thrift stores. Uh, there are two things I got. We popped into a little antique mall. I still consider it thrifting because when I see what I consider as a good price at an antique mall, it's, it's an old thing and I'm getting it for what I believe is a fair price. Um, so I consider that still being a, a thrifty spender for secondhand goods. So I found at a, a lot of these stores were MCC. Oh my goodness, Nancy, you're going to have to help me remember. Mennonite, I don't know, community care. It, it, these, these shops are run by the uh, Mennonite community in her area. And wow, what a difference in what is in these shops her fabric available to her there is far superior than anything that i get in my area far superior and i think it's because there are far more sewers and quilters um the mennonite ladies they they wear homemade dresses but they love pretty fabrics so there there's a source right there of offcuts from fabrics that have pretty patterns on them or for little girls sewing dresses for their daughters uh so whereas sewing these days at least out where i live is not necessarily cost effective anymore it used to be that it was you could make a beautiful dress for way less than what you'd purchase at a store and better made and unique you know, I loved when I was growing up my dress for my grade eight grad and that my mom made it. So I knew that no one else was going to show up at my grade eight grad with my dress. And uh, my mother was a very good sewer and, and uh, taught me how to sew, which I'm, I didn't like at first and I'm grateful for now. Anyhow, so, so the fabrics especially I noticed uh, were spectacular. Now, I, I was still choosy. I'm using less and less fabric these days. I used to go through a lot of fabric when I was doing uh, little, golden bit, little golden book journals. You use quite a bit of fabric covering those spines. And I find that nowadays I am usually only using fabric uh, for the back of, um, to secure text blocks. But you know me, that can change. I can go on a whole other tangent on what I enjoy making as far as uh, creating journals. So, but for now, um, I know the fabrics that I make use of. And so that's what I focused on. And, uh, and now I know where to go. <laughs> if, I, if I'm running low on nice fabric, uh, I know where to go. <laughs> and head out to Nancy's. <laughs> Um, so, uh, and, and I've lost track now in the pile. She took me to so many stores, so many stores. It's all a blur now. So, um, I'm not going to, I don't, I won't remember which ones. And most of these things were on sale. Her stores do the same thing. My stores do. The tags have colors on them for a lot of the, a lot of the stores. Let's find one here. Like, see how that's got a red bar at the top. Some things will have a blue bar, a yellow bar, a green bar, and then they'll have a color sale that day. So you'll know that anything in the store, no matter what it is, if it's got that color on the price tag, that's on sale. And that was the case for a lot of these things. So anyhow, so this one is just, it's a little note. It says blank on it, but I love it because it looks Victorian. It's new. This is, uh, that's a new card, but I can even just, I can take that off and just use this part. Wouldn't that make a nice pocket? It's nice and sturdy. So, or I could uh, collage on the back and cover that up because it's obviously, I mean, barcode, it's new. And a little envelope with it. So 
I love that. To the one I love. Isn't that pretty? Well, that's obviously a reprint. Most Victorian artwork now is all free game. And again with these cards. There were a lot of these cards. So these were the ones that I liked. Um, there was one set that was the one with the little, um, you know, the two little cherubs that are snuggling together with the pretty wings. Um, but I think I'm pretty sure I've got some of those somewhere over on my shelf there. But I loved these, so um, I'm not sure I would use the whole card, but I would cut that out, distress and ink and distress the edges and... Um, distress the inside to age it a bit using probably antique linen and make it not so white uh, for all of these. Same with those. Look at the little forget-me-nots. I love that with the little cherub on it. And then this one again. Uh, I like this one. She's got butterfly wings. Isn't that one cute? So instead of the bird wings, uh, she's got little butterfly wings. So so, and these are blank, so I love it. Oh, okay, hold on, you're different. That's pretty. Oh, I better check behind here. Maybe these ones have different ones. Nope, that's all the same. There's three there. Let's see if these ones are all the same. Yeah, these ones are all the same. Okay, so it's just you. You snuck in. That's all right. You're pretty. All right, so, so I was happy with those these out of the way. Um, I guess we might as well go through this one. It's, it seems like a silly little thing to grab, but I love tea dyed um, stenographer paper in it, in uh, journals, and this one has great holes on it, but I liked that it has margin down the side instead of usually uh, shorthand paper has the, uh, the line that goes down the center. So I loved this, that it went down the side. And it's already quite yellowed, but I will probably still tea dye it uh, to really accentuate the holes. I'll, what I usually will do with these is uh, unbend, unbend these wires, or else just clip them with my wire cutters and unscroll the, uh, the wire off so that I can um, keep those holes intact. So I was happy with that. I do know for sure at that store, the, the red was either 50% off or 75% off. This was like pennies. Uh, at one of the Mennonite stores, I'm really happy with this book. I was It's the only book I got, but I really like it. Let me stand up. It's uh, Church and Sunday School Hymnal and Supplement. And it's just, it's really nice and sturdy still. It was $2.00. This kind of book, um, I love the font on it, and I love that it lends itself to uh, room for me to maybe have some fun and, and uh, put some kind of artwork or even a flowing, a flowing collage that would go right across the back. And then the inside is, what year was this? It's quite old. I was quite happy with it. 1902. So it's in good, good condition for 1902. And the, um, I like the art, the, pardon me, I like the font of the titles. It's pretty. St. Nicholas. Isn't that pretty? Goodbye, a parting hymn. So I was very happy with this. I like that it's uh, yellowed. And uh, I, no offense to to any guitar players out there, but I like when music um, doesn't have the guitar chords on it. That it's just old, you know, usually would be played on an organ or a piano, depending on what they had in their, in their chapel. So I was very happy to find that for $2. Um, these two things are what I found at the antique mall. No, I haven't looked at this yet. This is just a needle, a needle booklet. And I liked it. Two dollars, and that's well, that's well uh, spent for two dollars because it's double-sided. So I can actually, let's open this up. 
Um, I could cut that down the middle and make use of both sides and get double, double the use out of it. And look at the colors. Isn't that beautiful? This, uh, the handle will need to be fortified from behind. So that's why I think I would have, I would make two pockets out of this. There's still a few little needles tucked in there. Isn't that sweet? So I'm happy with that. And I had been looking for uh, a white enamel. Actually, I wanted a tray, a white enamel tray. This will do. Um, and I actually want it for, um, actually to use a pa as a palette for, with my watercolors. They're, they're lighter to carry with you if you're going somewhere, if you're going to go, you know, do plein air painting or that, um, then, t then bringing some, something that's China, um, I saw I saw a few square like rectangular lower ones uh, but they were quite uh, damaged and rusted and if you're getting water and watercolors in there um, that can be a problem this one has one little ding out of it I will deal with that with actually <laughs> believe it or not with just some clear nail polish um, sometimes it has to be re repainted over but it'll be fine so I was happy with that yes it was $12 trust me that's a good price for uh, metal enamel covered pans and dishes. The other ones were like $39. So 12, I was happy with. I found one thing for my trailer and you'll get to see it because I forgot to leave it in the trailer. Um, I needed a, I needed a plastic measuring cup and the measuring cups, uh, even at the dollar store, um, aren't clear and they're the stackable dry goods ones. They're not liquid. I needed a liquid one, but I want plastic because any of you who have an RV, you know, when you're traveling down the highway and then you get to where you're going to and you open the door, you don't know what you could be finding all over the floor <laughs> in your trailer. <laughs> so I just find it the safest to uh, try and stick to unbreakable things for um for our cooking utensils i still like drinking out of glass for a lot of the time and my coffee has to be in a a mug a regular mug so i do travel with those safely i tuck them i put them in my kitchen sink and i tuck tea towels around them for while we while uh, we're traveling um, but things that are up in the kitchen cupboards um, plastic so that's terrific it was a dollar i'm happy uh, so here's something I treated myself to, but this came home with me. Um, you know what? I'm wondering if this is actually really a shrimp cocktail, <laughs> you know, to make parfait in or shrimp cocktail. But you know what? This just looks like a really nice sized martini glass to me, if you ask me. <laughs> And I like it for a few reasons. <laughs> I like that it's big. <laughs> I won't lie. <laughs> and I like that it's short stemmed because um, hubby and I, when we have happy hour outside during the nice weather, our little um, patio chairs, they sort of recline back and um, a long stemmed glass, you're... <clears throat> The ladies can get in the way with a long stemmed martini glass. Uh, I'll put it that way. <laughs> so a short one is is really nice, but it still it looks pretty to me. Part of my joy of my martinis is presentation. And I love to have a pretty a nice pick in there with my beautiful mm, colossal olives. And um, it's all, you know, for some for some societies, there's the presentation in a tea ceremony, for example. For me, uh, it's the martini ceremony. So I was happy to find that uh, for a dollar. And I love finding martini glasses at thrift stores because if I break them, it means that I have to go hunting again for another awesome martini glass. Uh, I did treat myself to two fabric swatches while I was gone and I'm so thrilled with them. Um, as most of you probably know, if you've been following me for a while, um, the, uh, the fabric that holds the back of your signatures together to create a text block, I really like a neutral fabric. I like a bit of a pattern 
just so that um, there's a just an ever so slight distraction behind those papers there but I don't want I don't want that fabric back there to dominate I want it to be something that the the new book owner looking through sort of goes oh oh my goodness isn't that a pretty little fabric I don't want them to open their book and go oh my goodness look at that fabric do you know what I mean so this one I spotted and I love it let me bring it up close so you can see I think it's a map of Paris um, it's certainly a French city, and I, I would think that it's Paris. Lefebvre Boulevard, um, all of the Avenue Jean, Jean Jour. I've never been to Paris, so I do not know. But, um, Boulevard du, du Charon. Um, anyhow, I know that someone out there will know, Catherine, yes, that's Paris, or else you'll be able to tell me what, what city this is. Isn't that nice? I love the subtle, just ever so slight pink, the off-white, and that you can, you can tell that it's a map, but it won't distract when there are papers there. It'll just sort of be tucked in the back. Uh, very nicely. So that was uh, two dollars for this nice big, nice big piece. This will do several journals for the back of the um, text block. So I'm happy with that. And then I love this one as well because again, these are the colors I like usually. This one's unusual. This slight bit of pink. Usually I go for beige monotone very faded pattern and this one for me is ooh la la because I'm a nut for paisley I love paisley and uh, so this is just a nice camel colored paisley on a nice creamy background let me lift it up so you can see it's so pretty isn't that beautiful so again it'll be very subtle and tucked in behind those signatures but just enough to go oh that wasn't that pretty but not um, not be the star of the show. So I was really happy with these two. Like I said, these will do a lot of journals. I found um, two little, they're, they're just sewing trims, uh, hem edging kind of lace. I like them because they're flat and uh, they're white, but I think they're old enough that the white has subdued. It's not a blinding white. So I like that. Uh, that was 50 cents for two opened packages. I'm not sure. This one looks like it has more still on it, but that's a lot of lace for 50 cents. That's really, really good. I got some beautiful little tiny doilies, which I love. So um, she's right. Nancy said, where do you see the doilies? And they're really well priced and they were very, very well priced. Isn't that one pretty? I love this one. Very pretty and already pressed and lovely. And these ones, oh my goodness, I love these delicate ones. And look at the little flowers around the edge with the little petals. Isn't that pretty? These ones amazed me. Two for 30 cents. That's incredible. And when I think of the time that went in, time and skill that went in to creating these, I've never, I know how to crochet. I've never known how to do this. My mother could do this. But not I, but I certainly do appreciate when someone else has had the skill to, uh, to create that. Now I grabbed this bundle. This is kind of dull, but I know I will go through it, but I don't know what these are. So it's a, it's a package of file folders. And as you know, that's my favorite backing for making journaling cards uh, also for if it's a if it's tissue thin paper that I want to use as end papers on the inside of the covers or you know inside cover papers um, this is just terrific and when you can find stacks of them at thrift stores you can't beat that for the price what did I pay hold on <laughs> one dollar for all of these now these this is just white paper but that'll get used I'm not sure. 
I think that's like photo -y paper. I'm not sure I'll use that. That might get be blinded. That's so sort of shiny. I think that's copy paper that you can copy photos onto. And I don't have a color printer. So, no. That'll be deleted. Um, this is kind of cool. I might tea dye this. Honeywell? <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't think so. Maybe I'll just use it. Um, even this, I could use. You know when you need to put a piece of paper underneath because you're inking or you're gluing? These things could get used for that as well, rather than being so quick to redonate. If they were phenomenal, I'd probably redonate so that someone else, some lucky person, would be happy to find it. Same with this. I'll use this for writing and making notes, but I won't. This won't go into journals. These are terrific. I love this red one. I'll put that aside for my Christmas time. Um, and the rest of these are just great. They're just great, big, huge. The the long file folders. Whoa, more bang for your buck when you can find big ones. These are all in great shape. And for one dollar, wahoo! So I'm very happy with that. Okay, let me see. Um, just a couple more things. I wasn't sure what this is, but it was the red day. I think it was either 50 or 75% off. So with it being $2, that's worth it. And it looked like nice big paper. Let's take a look and see. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh, you know what this is? Actually, I use this. It is, I think that's uh, paint palette paper. See how it's uh, slippy on the one side? To use um, when you're mixing paints, it's disposable. That's fine. <laughs> I'll actually use that. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know what? For what, 25 cents? Yep, I'm okay with that. Uh, I found one stamp. I'm usually very good about purchasing my stamps now because I'm not the world's greatest stamper, but this is, um, it's plain stamp. Let's stamp it. I'm not sure I may remove the thank you there. Here's some paper. Here we go. I may, I may cut that out. It says thank you. I want this. And you can do that with rubber stamps, and maybe we'll do that if I've still got time at the end of this. Let's see. Sorry if I'm jiggling. My tripod is leaning on my desk over here. Oh, that's lovely. That's terrific. Yeah, I do think I want to take that off. How much time have I got? I've got four minutes. You know what? Let's go through the lace. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I do when I remove it. Is I just take my X-Acto and I go in underneath and I just slice that off and leave the border alone. Uh, it won't look pretty, but it'll stamp beautifully. And it, you won't have that little word thank you there. Not that I'm not grateful and not that I don't say thank you to people, but I usually handwrite a little note. And then I also have these cute little stickers that say thank you on them. So I, I think I'll get more use out of this just as a border than as a little thank you stamp. I'm very happy with that. Um, the, the lady, <laughs> I don't think she could believe I was buying this. I love these little envelopes and uh, extra buttons. You used to get them. Oh, it's still got buttons in it. It's still got a button in it. <laughs> um, you used to get these from tailor-made clothing and that. They'd just pin it in and when you picked up your outfit from your, from your uh, seamstress or tailor, um, they would throw in some extra buttons in case you lost one off your outfit. So I love extra button envelopes. They're cute. Alrighty, let's see. I don't I don't know what's in here. We're gonna find out together. We'll see what uh, what gets pitched and what gets to stay. That wasn't on there, and it was Green Label Day. So. 
we'll see here. Well, there's some little thin laces that'll get used. I think I'll use everything except that silver lace. I won't use that little silver snippet so that can go into my, I always have a box over by the door of my room, my redonate box. That's cute. That will absolutely get used. These will absolutely get used. Nice th little thin laces. Uh, a nice flat lace that will get used. I may try and tea dye this. Um, a little white trim that's very pretty. I can see this being used on a winter solstice journal. It's one of the few times that I use pure white. Uh, it reminds me of the snow. Here's some more flat lace. I, I like this. Uh, I'm going to take a chance and tea dye it because I have plenty of white lace. So. Um, I'm not going to get rid of this, but it's not my favorite shade of red. Uh, I, I like more of a brick red rather than a candy cherry kind of red. Like this red is a little bit better. It's a little deeper. I don't know if you can tell. Like, I like the red of these roses. See what I mean? It's sort of warmer, a warmer red rather than a cool red. It's just my preference for my eye. Um, but you never know with a Christmas journal. I'm not ready to get rid of that. And that'll get used. And this, let's see. I was hopeful for this. Oh, I do. I love it. It's got ribbon on the back. It's already attached with a ribbon on the back. And I love it. And it's flat. And it's the right shade that I love. And it's, boy, that's quite a good... I'm looking at how thick the amount of laces on here and that's fantastic so really happy with this i will put this onto one of my big cards these small ones snippets of lace that are 12 inches or shorter um, i just have a, a freezer bag just full of lace snippets so these will just the red ones the red and white ones will go into my christmas freezer bag and these other ones will go into my other my regular freezer bag. Wow, White Rose, that store doesn't even exist anymore here. I used to love White Rose. This is cute. I may leave this white and put it in with my Christmas things. A little pin. Oh, don't tell me that. I think I've got a couple minutes. Let me stand up and see. Yes, I know I've got four more minutes. So that can go in with Christmas. Let me let me put that pin somewhere. Let's see what these are. That's kind of cute. I'm not sure I would ever use a double ruffle, so but I so I will leave it together. But I can see myself just cutting right down the center of that and having double the amount of a ruffled lace, and it's very pretty. So I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Nancy spotted this bag for me because she knew I liked these triangular laces. So she said, here you go. You might like this. It's got the tri triangle, the pointy laces. So I'm definitely going to tea dye this. And I'm going to tea dye this. Isn't that pretty? Happy with that. What a great little bag for, um, I think it was 75% off the $250. Very happy with that. This is quite common, but it's still nice. I like it because it feels natural. It's like cottony. You can get this uh, at Dollarama up here in Canada. Um, but it's a nice little cottony, natural looking lace. So you can't go wrong. I find them all the time at my thrift stores because people buy them at Dollarama and maybe they buy too much and don't use it all and donate it. And I'm happy they do. There we go. So that is all the lace and that is that's my thrift haul let me see how i am for time and see if i can show you 29 minutes let's give it a go so sharp blade on your exacto and we're going to take this off let me see if i can come down closer there we go um try your best never to slice towards yourself or towards your hand and I think that's self-evident why. So try and slice away from yourself so that 
if your knife skips, um, you will uh, not injure yourself. And if you just go right through, that's all right. It's not going to look nice, but that will not show. Uh oh, that will not show when you stamp with it. So you can see I'm slicing away from myself. And I'm just going to take those words out of there. And, uh, and it'll just be an awesome little border. This, this is tricky in here. I don't want to damage these little beads in the, the detail in there. All right, I can't get this done in my 30 minutes, so I'm going to have to say goodbye here. I'll post a picture of this on Instagram so you can see the end result. And there will be a hole in the <laughs> in there, and it'll be fine. Um, I should have some more videos today. I came home from having a wonderful time with one friend to find a package of Happy Mail from another friend. Uh, so I will be doing a video on um, on the Happy Mail because I thought you'd really enjoy it. I really enjoyed looking through it. Even my husband enjoyed looking through the Happy Mail. Kelly, it's it's from you. Uh, and my husband, he had a hoot laugh, laughing and looking through it and amazed too, some of the things. Um, so I think you're going to enjoy that. And I'm also going to try and do a video of some of my artwork. Some of the people have been asking about my the art that I've done in the past. So I'm going to try and also get a video of that done. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.